Tech Zone Con 2022 Festival of Learning. Tech Zone Con 2022 is presented to you by La Salle University's Educational Technology of Educational and Digital Media Services Team, or EDMST, and Institute for Development, Education, and Learning, or IDEAL, accredited with 10 CPD units. PTR 2018 186 1103. Hello, I'm Sir Ted. Miss Anna here. Today, we are going to introduce you something new about Canvas. Let's go and explore with us. What is LTI in Canvas? LTI is short for Learning Tools Interoperability. It is a standard that provides plug-in capability for external applications. Within Canvas, a system that uses LTI is often called an external tool. Sometimes known as Canvas App, third-party plugins, or simply LTI. So good afternoon, everyone. I'm Miss Anna. So. And I'm also with here with Sir Ted. So for today, we will have engaging technologies for in, for emerging technologies for engaging learning experience in an online environment via Canvas. So um, thank you for choosing this room as a part of LTI integration. So that's. So before you will start, let's have a few uh, short activity. I will be sharing a link later on, but just simply read. Uh, I will just simply read the steps. So I will be sharing a link. Then make it sure that you will click that one, and then make when if there will be a chance for you to type your uh, your name, just simply have your last name and first name. Now, if you've completed step one and two, you're ready to move on to step four. So just simply press or click the raise hand button to indicate that everyone is ready. So I will be sharing the link. So there will be a question, how are you feeling today? So just simply answer or select the number with the correspond description in each number for the question, how are you feeling today? So let me check if how many are already here in our mentee. So there are 13 and then you are 33 in, my, in our Google Meet right now. So while waiting for the others, do not, uh, do not close yet the mentee because we will be using that one later in achieving our first objective. Okay, so based on the summary pie present, projected in the screen, so majority answered happy. So congratulations because you still be happy along this of course um we are already almost done with this workshop so i hope you, that happiness will continue throughout this academic year or even throughout this day so let uh proceed to the next slide so let's have here the following question so, by the way, everyone, are you familiar with the icons and images that is projected in the screen? Are you familiar with those? Just simply use the chat box and answer yes and no. Are you familiar with those icons and images that is projected in the screen? How about the others? I just simply received few. Okay. Now, since most of you know or 
uh, familiar with this icon and images in the screen? If so, what are those? Okay, what are those? How about the others? Some of you know this kind of icon, the first picture, the second one, the second one picture. Okay, very good everyone. So that is Edpuzzle and Google Drive icons. So for today, we'll be discussing. But before you will have that one, I will ask a few uh one question and can be answered by yes or no have you tried integrate lti in your canvas module have you tried integrate ltis in your canvas module how about the others no <laughs> yes for some how about the others so it's good to know that there are some of you who joined the LTI integration knew how to um, integrate LTIs in their Canvas module. So for today, we will have LTI integration. So in a previous video, we already discussed with Sir Ted regarding what is LTI mean. Now, um, I, will, uh, I will ask Sir Ted to read the objectives projected in the screen. Okay, so good afternoon, everyone. For the objectives for this particular session, at the end of the session, you are expected to first describe LTI in Canvas. Second, discover Edpuzzle and Google Cloud assignments in Canvas module apps. Then lastly, to be able to integrate LTI in the Canvas modules. So as a start, LTI or the Learning Tools Interoperability Integrations. So Edpuzzle, it means teaching tool used to place interactive content into pre-existing videos from a variety of sources. While the Google Drive Cloud Assignment, it is an online embedded assignment using the Google Apps external tools. So it creates a view of the assignment file that acts as a template for students' submit, uh, assignment submissions. So given that one already by Sir Ted, so we will go back again to the Menti. So I will be sharing again the link for those who leave the Menti. So we will be using the same link for the Menti. And then we will unlock first the, ob the first objective. So I will be sharing again this one. So let's proceed on the another or let's unlock the first objective. So Mostly, and for of you already been used uh, Canvas LTIs in your Canvas module. Now, in Canvas, how will you describe LTI? How about the others? So in Canvas, how will you describe LTI? Okay, Sir Ted. Okay, so based on your answers, um, the word extension as well as third-party plugin, so I observed that one. We also have answer about third-party tool. So actually, uh, LTI, it refers to a third-party software or applications 
that has been installed in Canvas. So these LTIs add a variety of functions to Canvas courses, such as video, textbook access, uh, collaborative assignments, virtual labs, as well as other more uh, apps that we are going to discuss later. Okay, so thank you, Sir Ted. So we will start with the first LTI, but before we will have that one, since we will have first the Ed Puzzle, so I would like to request and we will highly encourage everyone to follow the steps that we will be demonstrate later. So can you open your Canvas account and then select a Canvas course or you, you may use your Canvas sandbox? And then create a module and have entitled with that one, which is PS5 LTI integration. And I, we will highly encourage everyone to follow the steps that we will demonstrate later on. So please click the raise hand if you already um, done with the step one to three. Again, you may open your Canvas account and select or use your Canvas sandbox and then have create a module entitled PS5 LTI integration. Okay, first that we will have while waiting for the others to select probably a, any course canvas that available to their canvas account so while waiting for the others i will be showing first a short video regarding how you will embed or integrate and puzzle in your canvas module The first LTI is EdPuzzle. It is a free assessment-centered tool that allows teachers and students to create interactive online videos by embedding either open-ended or multiple-choice question, audio notes, audio tracks, or comment on a video. Formative assessment tools for a teacher who ran a flipped classroom, assign videos for homework, or want to encourage asynchronous communications. How to integrate Edpuzzle with Canvas Want to use Edpuzzle with Canvas course? It only takes a few clicks to connect your account. But the question is, how? So first, let's open our Canvas course account. And then start by opening a course card in the Canvas. So I will be using this one. And now let's check to see if Ed Puzzle is listed in the sidebar. Yes? So if Ed Puzzle is not listed, just simply go to the settings. Click on the apps tab. Search for Ed Puzzle app in the app center. Type it in the search bar or scroll down until you find it. But I will just simply type Ed Puzzle. And then click the plus and up button. This will open a pop up window. Now you need two pieces of information the consumer key and the shared secret. To find this inform information, open a new window tab and let's go for edpuzzle.com. Log in. I'm a teacher. And then sign in with the Google. So welcome to Edpuzzle. So as you've observed, just simply on the left side, there is my classes. And then click plus button. Look for Canvas. Set up Edpuzzle. Now you have your consumer key and shared secret key. So let's copy first the consumer key. Let's go back. Let's paste and then copy the shared secret and then paste. Click the add up button. So let's try to refresh the page. And now add puzzle is already in the sidebar. So let's have to embed 
to add puzzle in our module. So, I will create an assignment. So, I will name that one as a synchronous since add puzzle is very good in creating or having discussion in a synchronous. Let's add the item. Let's edit the assignment page. Then submission type, external tools. Let's look for the add puzzle. Now I will select this video. And then next. And then assign. Let's check. Let's mark check load in the new tab and then select. So, do you have already the link of your add puzzle? And then click the save. So, since we checked the new tab, so it will load in the new tab. But if you want to embed that one inside the canvas, now let's go back to our module, edit the asynchronous assignment page, and then Unchecked the load this tool in a new tab and click save. Now your Ed Puzzle is present in your Canvas course assignment, which is named Asynchronous. Now you are ready to use and puzzle so the short video is already how to integrate um lti and puzzle in new york canvas module now any one of you did uh, did follow the a uh, short step on how to integrate um lti or add puzzle in our course module does any one of you followed the video can you raise your hand please if you followed the video So, I guess that is, we will have a live demonstration on how you will do the Ed Puzzle. So, I hope you already opened your uh, LSU of Canvas account and select a Canvas module, uh, Canvas course, and then create already the Canvas module. Now, I will be demonstrating how you will do that one in your live Canvas account. So, I will be sharing first this, my account in Canvas. So, I hope everyone are following so that they can start discovering because we already unlock our objective to, to discover and puzzle at the same time the Google Cloud application. So, let's start with, I will select first the Canvas course. And then I will create a module. So I will just name this one as what is being um, instruct to name. So that is five, which is LTI integration. And then add module. So in adding a LTI in the Canvas module, of course, you need to have an assignment because we are looking or having a type of submission, which is external tool. Because again, LTI is a third-party application. So let's, uh, I will create. So after that one, we will create an assignment. So I will name this one as LTI integration. I hope everyone are following right now because we already we will already unlock the objective too, which is you need to discover some examples of LTI by using Edpuzzle and Google Cloud application. So I hope our I hope everyone. So we will encourage everyone to follow what is being demonstrated in our workshop for today. So I will or we will add click the add item. So you have already the assignment page on the module entitled LTI integration. Now, 
we will have first checked your on the left side bar of your canvas to check if there will be a add puzzle so as i've per check on my part yes there is add puzzle already but how about those do not have any add puzzle so how will you integrate or add the add puzzle to your canvas uh, course card account so let's start with gold by just simply clicking the settings and then go to apps and then we will you can scroll down if you want so that you will also inform that there are the, some examples or lti that can be or will be integrated in our canvas module so for today i will just simply search ed puzzle so i hope everyone is in the right track to follow the uh, steps in integrating ed puzzle in canvas so we will start with the ed puzzle and then of course you will add or click the plus add up in the canvas or in the ed puzzle and i know already most of you are familiar with ed puzzle ed puzzle is can be used for those who have laboratories and for those who will implement asynchronous because ed puzzle is uh what i like with the ed puzzle is uh, aside from having too much text to the students in your asynchronous you can also use different kinds of videos that are available in youtube in ted talk so it's up to you to have that one that can be used to your lesson so i will just simply click at uh, plus at up and then it will ask you with your consumer key and secret or shared secret one so first thing that we need to have is to open our ed puzzle so let's type edpuzzle.com so i'm opening ed puzzle right now so let's try to log in you can sign up if you want but to make it easy and we need we don't need to memorize all the accounts and password then why not click the login button on the upper right part of the edpuzzle.com and then just simply select i'm a teacher so does everyone follow the procedures or step already in integrate or adding edpuzzle in the canvas so i hope everyone is um following it okay so we will select i'm a teacher and then of course in having have in having email and password we need to have or instead to do have that one we will link our account using our google but for those who really want to have that one instead of linking your google account you can uh, simply the manual signing up of your account in the ed puzzle so i will use my lsu account for the ed puzzle so welcome to ed puzzle so this is the interface of the ed puzzle on your content you can add content if you really want to for example you have a video coming from the youtube you can also add that one or you can search a youtube url here so that that kind of pre-exact a uh, pre-existing uh, video can be used for you to edit and have a content inside the ed puzzle when you say um content you can edit the content by just simply giving on your pre-existing video for example youtube you can have quiz quiz multiple choice open-ended some notes audio tracks so you can use that one when you apply ed puzzle to your module so you can click add content or by just simply search or paste the URL or YouTube URL that you've been selected uh, the video itself. So you can use this one for those who have laboratories and for those who are using videos in their asynchronous module instead of having plain video, why not using Edpuzzle? Since you can also interact the students inside the Edpuzzle itself. So let's have here, so go to the left side of it there will be my classes so we will just simply click the plus sign button here and then of course there these are the connected elements in the ed puzzle so of course we are using canvas so we will just simply select canvas so again on my classes on the left part corner of your screen just simply click the plus button sign and then since we're using canvas and then we will just simply select 
canvas. Then after you will select the canvas button or the canvas projected in the screen, now let's have to start or set up the Add Puzzle. So this, uh, this will be the console make key and the short secret. So we will just simply copy it. So we will start with the consumer key. Let's try to copy. And we will go back in our um, setting up in the canvas. So we will copy the consumer key. And let's go back again on the end puzzle. Let's copy the shared secret. And then paste that one again in the sh uh, shared secret text box in the add up. And then click the add up button. Okay, I hope everyone are following the steps. Um, we will answer your questions, sir, later after the session of me, on my end and Sir Ted, since we have man our Q and A part. So, uh, we will answer your questions regarding with the LTI or integrating LTI in the Canvas later on. Thank you for that question, sir. So, I will just simply proceed. So, we will add the app. So instead of having YouTube on your asynchronous module, you can use Edpuzzle. You can add some questions with with your video so that the student can interact with your video uh, uh, video on your module. So we will, I will just simply leave, uh, check on my sidebar if there is already an Edpuzzle. So actually there is already in my Edpuzzle. So I will just simply try to refresh it. Then when you check your ed, uh, your left part already, you have to add puzzles. It seems the add puzzles already been integrated in our Canvas na. So what I've demonstrated now is for those who don't have add puzzle as of the moment in the Canvas course things. So I have add puzzle already here. Now, the next one is how will you embed or put add puzzle to your module? So let's go back on the module that we did created recently lang. So we will go back to the module that is already um, created. Then let's go back on the LTI integration, which is your assignment. And then we will try to change or edit the setting since we will embed add puzzle in this module. So I will edit. So you have the following. So while waiting, it will load on the edited box there. I will just simply have the following. So if you want to have an ed puzzle which is graded, because if that will be multiple choice when you use a pre-existed video and add some question in it and use ed puzzle to interact with the students, you can have that one by adding points. So for example, you will have 10 points because you have 10 questions that is been a uh, part or added to your ed puzzle video and of course that is an assignment because again lti is using third party app you can select points if you want you can also have complete or incomplete when you say complete and incomplete it will on the grid uh grid grades the part you just empty uh see there the check and x symbols so meaning if that will be checked that is complete if that will be x of course that is incomplete then you can also have points uh percentage letter grade so it's up to you to set out uh, to display the grades on, on your ed puzzle um module so i will just have to set that one into points and now for the submission type we'll be using external tool because we are using the third party which is the, ed, the which is the ed puzzle so if we will look for the ed puzzle by just simply click find since as you observe here there's no link pa so this is an empty one so we need to find the ed puzzle itself so when you click the find ed puzzle these are the available LTIs that you can add to your module there is an ed puzzle uh, there is a google drive clock assignment so lots of it that you can use to your module but for now we will have to use ed puzzle so we will be selecting ed puzzle and then after that one it will load on the ed puzzle resources 
or the external tool or the L also called as LTI. Okay, so that is already the Ed Puzzle. So in your Ed Puzzle, if you have already pre-existed video using Ed Puzzle, then you can select on your own content, which among those videos that you want to embed and add or use to your module. So for example, I will be using this one as a video for the Ed Puzzle. So as you've observed, this one is having the tier dot that is a question. It can be a question that you've been edited on the vid pre-existed video that you want the students to interact or answer the question. Then I will just simply go to the next and then assign. So you can also set this kind of assignment and option to prevent skipping so that the student will not really escape your video itself. So this is also a feature, which is a good one for your asynchronous or your laboratory um, module so that they won't ex uh, uh, skip your video. And then click Assign. So when you check, when you scroll down, you have there already the link or the URL e link from your Edpuzzle. And then... It's up to you to click ba to load it in the new tab or not. So probably I will not select na lang to load it in a new tab, but instead to load it inside the canvas. So I will just empty sel uh, select the button select. And then, of course, let's try to view by just empty clicking save. You can also add some juice and until and available from of your assignment. You can also limit some allowed attempts for the student to answer the Ed puzzle. So let's try to click save button. And then when you open and then when the student will open the part of this page, which is the assignment page, they already been embedded to your Canvas module. So you can also check the names of your students in this Canvas courses that will follow. So you have there the video and then the student automatically um, view or click the video using Ed Puzzle to your Canvas module. So I hope everyone are following already with the Ed Puzzle because I will be sharing a summary for the Ed Puzzle. So let me share first. And using the Ed Puzzle, do not forget, of course, to install the LTI itself and create an account for that LTI because that is very important since there are lots of LTI accounts that will be asked again with the consumer key and then the shared secret or sec uh, then you need to have that one to create your account to that kind of website. And then get the key, of course, and enter it already in your Canvas module. So I hope everyone are following with our Edpuzzle or integrating LTI using Edpuzzle in our Canvas module. Now I will be giving the virtual floor to my partner, which is Sir Ted, for the next LTI um, tool. The second LTI is Google Drive Cloud Assignment. Cloud Assignment is an online embedded assignment using the Google Apps external tool. This assignment type creates a view of the assignment file that acts as a template for a student's assignment submission. Accepted assignment types are the following, Google Docs, Spreadsheets, and Presentations. Features and Benefit of Cloud Assignments Instructors can select Google Assignments as an external tool when they create a new assignment, which enables, first, file attachment to an assignment so each student gets their own copy to edit and submit. Second, meet citation checks and possible plagiarism with the originality reports feature. Lastly, students can submit drive files to Canvas assignments, then instructors can grade in split grader. Good day everyone! We will now explore the LTI integration Google Drive Cloud Assignment. 
I am Sir Jared Ted to explain to you about Google Drive Cloud Assignment in Canvas. In creating a Google Drive Cloud Assignment, there will be an integration between Canvas and the Google Drive applications. Here are the steps. In Google Drive, we need to first be sure that we are going to log in in our school Google account. Next, make a template of the assignment or worksheet. Accepted assignment types are the following, Google Docs, Spreadsheets, and Presentations. Here is an example of the activity template in ICT subject using Google Docs. After that one, we are going now to Canvas. In Canvas, we need to create an assignment. In the following tabs, click Assignments. You will be directed to this interface. Next, click Plus Assignment or Add Assignment. In this interface, provide the following details. The assignment name, instructions, points, assignment group, as well as display grade. In the submission type, select the external tool. After that, click Find. A new window will open. In this window, click Google Drive Cloud Assignment. A Google Drive link will be opened. In this window, we will find the template of the assignment that we made earlier. Then, click the document, then submit. You will be returned to the previous window. Just click select. If you observe in the external tool option, a link preview or the URL of the document is shown. After that, we can edit other details of our assignment, including the submission attempts as well as the date and time of the availability of the assignment. If you are ready to publish your assignment, click the Save and Publish button. However, if you want to create a draft of your assignment and publish it later, you can click only the Save button. Here is the teacher's view of the assignment. Aside from the details, it includes a note indicating that students will receive a copy of this document that they can modify for their submission. On the other hand, in the student view, details are also shown as well as the note that this particular document embedded is created by the teacher is what we call cloud assignment. Students will be able to edit the document in Canvas or in Google Documents. Once completed or done, students can now click the submit button to turn in their work. One of the features of this particular LTI is speed grader, so teachers can directly grade the output of the students using the speed grader. As well as Google Files will be previewed, teachers also can use the annotation tools as part of checking the submissions. That would be all. Thank you. Hey everyone, so that's the quick demonstration about adding a Google Drive Cloud Assignment or creating the Google Drive Cloud Assignment. So I know that some of you did not able to follow that particular uh, process. So this time, uh, I will be uh, having or will be having live demonstration about uh, or, or in creating the Google Drive Cloud Assignment in Canvas. Okay, so uh, please open your Google accounts or Google accounts as well as your uh, Canvas account. Okay, so we'll first, so for the process, 
Okay, so for the process, first is we need to open our Google Drive. So in this particular uh, interface, so near our profile picture, we have here the Google Apps. So just click Drive. Okay, so after opening our Google Drive, we can add or we can make new documents, spreadsheets, as well as slides. So these are the three, three applications that are accepted as assignment types in our LTI. So in this particular Google Drive or document, our main target is to create a template, okay, template of our assignment. So in this case, I'll be using the Google Doc. So I have here kind of simple, simple template. So I'll just open the template. So I have here a book report format or the home reading report format. So this is the template of my assignment. Okay, so name, date, then other details. So after making a template, so we already have template. We will then, we will now then proceed to our canvas. Okay, so let's open our canvas account. So in our canvas account, we need to choose or the course, the subject in which we are going to add the Google Drive Cloud assignment. Okay, so we will just utilize the sandbox for demo purposes. Okay, so in our in our course or subject, so in this particular navigation tabs, we just or we need to click assignments. Okay, so we have here assignments. So after that, we need to add assignments in this particular tab or link. Okay. So in this particular interface, we need to add like the name of the assignment. So we'll just put LTI integration, then instructions. So since we are, or the template that we are making is about home reading report or book report, we will put some instructions like read your favorite stories. Favorite story and complete or answer. Uh, So having or putting some instructions, so we also need to put points. So for example, 15 points, assignment group, display, display grade. So we need to edit all of that. So for the submission type, so we have here different submission types. So in our, so in for the LTIs, as what Miss Anna emphasized earlier, we need to use external tool. Okay, so for submission type, we need to click external tool. After that, click find. So if you observe, there's no link preview. So wala pa siya naka indicate. So we need to click find. After that one, in this particular window, we need to click or we need to find the Google Drive cloud assignment. So actually our Google Drive is being integrated naman in our Canvas. So it, it can be seen na. So Google Drive Cloud Assignment, so we need to click that one.
So once integrated, so all the files in our Google Drive will be or can be seen na dayon in this particular window. So we will search the template that we made earlier. Uh, like book report. Okay. So we have here the book report format. Okay, so this is our, it is very important to first make or create template in Google Drive so that uh, when we are going to use na this particular LTI, it is very easy na for us to locate the file. Okay, so after clicking, we need to submit. Okay, so submit. So we will going to go back in this in this particular screen or window. So if you observe URL or the link of our file in the Google Drive is being indicated. So just click select. Okay, so earlier we don't have link, so now we already have the link of our of the file or of the template that we are going to use. So we also need to edit attempts. So how many attempts? So for example, two attempts. Assign everyone due dates and availability dates. Also should be uh, should be edited edited or um, or not. Okay. So after that one, since we already put the details, we can save and publish. If you are ready to publish the assignment or just save to. Uh, to have draft, just draft. Okay. So in this particular window, you observe that the book report format or our files being embedded already. Okay, so naka-embed na siya sa canvas. Okay, so what, what's the good thing about this particular LTI or the Google Drive cloud assignment is that the file itself will be embedded then the students, for the student view, then they can see like this na. So they can directly edit. They can directly edit the file or put answers or respond to the questions, for example. So pwede na sila directly maka-answer in, uh, in this particular window. However, if some students um, did, don't have the laptop or kanang wide bitaw, wide a view about this particular assignment, they can click the link, this one book report format in the upper side. So they can directly click this one to open the file in the Google Docs. Okay, so if the file is already opened by the student, so they can directly edit. So for example, they put their name in the new window, huh? The new window, they can directly edit their answers. Then, for example, February 24, 20, 20. Okay. So, for example, they have or they put something na input in uh, in the assignment. So, whatever they will make or edit in this particular window will be reflected in Canvas. So if we will go back to our canvas, you observe na there's already input. So uh, the name as well as the date being edited in this particular tab, sa separate na tab, is reflected na. So it's not hard na for the students um, in editing or putting their responses. What's another good thing about this particular uh, LTI is that the teacher can directly grade the output of the student in the speed grader. So I find it very um, important or vital as teachers because uh, during the start ng God, during the start of this particular setup that we have, I don't have any idea or wala ko idea in this LTI integration. So the tendency is that when I require the students to pass something like a file upload assignments or worksheets or mga ingan ana, I need to download I need to download the output so that I can correct the output. Okay, so I don't know if some of the of the teachers also are having that kind of hard way in checking the output. But in this LTI, you can directly check, you can directly check the output of the students. Okay, so 
for the speed grader, so since I have example in other course, I'll try to check that one. Ah, computer. So I'll try to check the example of the student submission. So for demo purposes, so for the computer devices. So we have here submission of students. So we can click the speed grader. Okay, so in the speed grader, the file itself is being converted into PDF file. Okay, so the output of the students can be seen already. Then you can directly put your score and teachers also can annotate. So what's the best thing about this one is teachers can annotate um, the answers, the work of the students. So this is an example of the student submission in the speed grader. Okay, so... I think uh, this is the, or it is very appropriate to use, especially for assignments or assignments and and work that uh, collaboratively done code for group activities like that, so that one file can be passed or can be can be edited edited by the group members, so that um, students also would not able to kind of have hard time in accessing the file because sometimes if files are files are kind of not integrated in LTI way or in the way in using the LTI the tendency is that the student needs to download the file so it is very hard especially for those using kind of mga with um, slow internet connections then for the file code like heavy files, it can be downloaded because of the storage capacity like that. So in this particular LTI, it is very uh, useful because, again, all the things can be, or the child, the student can directly edit the um, assignment. And then uh, it is very also kind of convenient for the teacher in checking uh, the outputs of the students. Okay, so... I think that's the that's the main uh, that's the main focus of using LTI the especially the Google Drive cloud assignment. Okay, so we also have here summary. Okay, so for the summary of creating a Google Drive Cloud assignment, first, we need to log in using our school Google account. Next, make a template of the assignment or of the worksheet. So as I've, as I've emphasized earlier, it's very important to have a template of the assignment so that when we are going to integrate the LTI in Canvas, uh, we, it is very easy enough for us to integrate that one. So after making a template, then... We are going to go to Canvas or in our Canvas account. We need to create assignment. We need to edit the details of the assignment. Then next is we also need to select the submission type. So as what I've said earlier, external tool uh, will be used since we are using third-party plugin or the LTIs. So after attaching the file or the template of the assignment, then we can now save and publish our assignment okay so i hope uh, you are or you did follow the process in integrating both the edpuzzle as well as the google drive cloud assignment or canvas account so this moment i think we need to ask we need to ask for some questions and clarifications uh, regarding the two LTIs that we discussed, the Edpuzzle 
by Miss Anna as well as the Google Drive Cloud assignment. Okay, so do you have any question and uh, questions and clarifications? Hello, Sir Dennis. Good afternoon. Yes, sir. Uh, good afternoon, Sir Jerick, uh, Sir Ted, and Miss Anna for giving us these insightful and helpful um, applications that we can um, that we can use for the conduct of our teaching learning process. Um, my concern is, uh, uh, what suggestions can you give, most especially to the teachers who are having, or who are the content creator of the course, can, uh, the Canvas course, and then they have a co-partner. I mean, they have a partner of the subject, and then you are integrating, for example, um, for example, uh, Ed Puzzle, and then once i share the canvas module to the teachers um will it the uh, will it be uh will there be no problem uh the moment that the teacher will publish the activities or modules into his or her own canvas course or if there is a problem then what can you suggest to to me so that we will be able to address the concern. Okay. Once I try this thing, Mangon, I tried to make use of, for example, Flipgrid as one of the activities. And then I was kind of hesitant because um, I still, uh, I, I don't know if there will be a concern or problem that the other teacher might encounter. So instead of having the flip grid i just followed or i just make use of the um, quizzes or the another mode of assignment so that's my concern i hope i get some question but um, yes, sir, yes, sir. okay and uh, thank you for that one sir dennis that is a good question and i think most of us also encountered in that way the for my end siguro the proverb uh the the solution for that one is again to share your file itself and then by sharing your file and add collaboration with your co-teacher the co-teacher will use that kind of file to embed or integrate that one to their own canvas account since our canvas account is having man privacy and some of the settings which is very secured for us to use and to apply your embed in the canvas so that is also probably the ba the, uh, the basic or the solution to share your file with your co-teacher if that will be add puzzle or flip grade you have your file there and then just simply share that one with your co-teacher and then the co-teacher will use that kind of content for in order to embed or integrate that one to their own canvas module account so in addition sir in or with regards to the google drive cloud assignment um in terms of sharing so sometimes we have files that need authorization or access, the need of access. But in terms of the Google Drive Cloud assignment, once you put or you embed the Google Drive Cloud assignment as an LTI, then each student or the teachers can, can have own, their own copy, so individual copy um, regarding, regarding the app or with a particular template. So, I think it's kind of very kind of convenient because if you observe some of our kind of problem is that the need access without especially if especially if the sharing permissions are not being are not being updated like that but in terms of google drive cloud assignment you don't need to edit everything sa katong sa permission because once you embed the file it can be seen or each student or recipient of the uh, of the template will have their own copy so ana lang siya sir then uh, with rega regards to modules bitaw nga katong many students i, I mean many, many teachers are kanang uh, having or accessing the module i think the best thing to to do is you can talk first or you can collaborate first with the teacher if what particular uh, tool or lti you are going to use so that both of you can benefit ingon ana kay if one teacher lang ang nakabalo with the LTI, maybe pag use or when the time that um, the teacher is using or implementing the module, it's so kanang hard na for that, that particular teacher. 
that's all sir then if i will uh, if i will also add to that this probably sir dennis also mentioned that if you will share your URL, uh, his url with the co-teacher of course the co-teacher will not open that url because he or she is not part of the your module so the only thing that you can have is to collaborate at the same time to share the important ideas that you can integrate to your lti's or in your canvas module so what's the other concern sir So to answer the question of Ma'am Philip Chano, so will the Google Doc submission be seen by all those who will submit? No, ma'am. Okay, so each student have their own copy, kumbaga, kanang carbon copy of that particular template. So only the student mo yung makapita or can, can see the, the submission. So the teacher can see all the submissions, but with regards to other students, they can see the submission of others. That is also correct. And if I will read also some question coming from Sir Benji, are all apps present in the canvas are free for to use? Um, I'm looking forward with it. Sana it would be free, but there are lots of apps, mga good. Of course, they need to have payment at the same time. But as you observe in applying LTI on your Canvas module, those things that you can find or click find or external tool and then click find, those things are for free. That is already probably paid by our school that we can use inside our Canvas module. But I cannot say all are free, but there will be some more that are free that is, of course, connected or paid by our school. Any questions or clarifications, everyone, teachers? Ah, okay, good one, sir. Um, actually, as if, if you will use um, LTI in our Canvas, a module i will just simply share my screen first i will not list it because unfortunately those are just simply the free one or the available that are connected with our school that we can use so i will be showing some lists that are for free so mostly the list of the ltis that are for free that we can use in our canvas is if you will click um, external tool and then click find these are the free or the available tools that we can integrate to our canvas but of course you can add another lti or another external app tools for this one but it will depend if that kind of um, website or an app is for free or not okay probably you can add but that kind of an app or tool is not free although it can give trial lang but you can use mga few pilapaka days to use that kind of um, tools so, so fortunately these are the availables as you've observed this is britannica is already connected with our canvas and puzzle um equal ioi so that is also IO that is also part. You can also add Google since Google is already connected with the school. You can also have some mathematical type which is also connected by our school. Tapos Canvas Connect that is also part and new analytics that we can add also in our Canvas. And we can use also 365 cloud assignment and then quiz 2 which is the new LTI for the um, quizzes. And of course, plagiarism software, you, we can also use this one since this is also connected with our Canvas. And of course, the the popular one, which is the YouTube. So um, there are lots of LTI that you can add, but it will matter if that kind of app tool is available and it's for free. But if not, we can use it in the Canvas, pero limited time, probably trial but i think for the list of the lti's that the best person for that one is probably the uh, the the edotech team since they have man the list what are those apps that are connected or can be used in the canvas lti mode furthermore I hope we can have the list for the office uh, list for the LTI that can be used for the um, canvas. Okay. You're welcome, teachers.
Any other questions or clarifications po? Again, you can use any LTS that is appropriate and comfortable to your end. You're welcome, sir. Any questions po and clarifications before we proceed to the next slide? Okay, since you've asked some question and we will be the one who will ask question later if you don't have any questions anymore, teachers. Okay, so can you can I share the slides or Ted? So if not, then I will be sharing my screen. Let's have another set, which is we will be the one who will ask question. If you really understand our um, workshop for today regarding with the LTIs. So I will be sharing first. For today, we will have a quiz using quizzes. So I hope you attend those seminar earlier in the morning that there already integrates or some collaboratives that can be used for our DOAS at the same time for our module. So we will be using um, quizzes. So I think you are very familiar with regarding that kind of tool. So I will be sharing again the link in our Canvas chat box. And then, of course, it will open new tab for you and just simply type your name. That will be your last name followed by your, your first name. Then if you're done already with the step number one and two, that's the time I think you are ready to answer the 10 questions. And the 10 questions and each question will be given 20 seconds. Okay, so please, uh, I will be sharing the link in our chat box. I will be sharing a link, so that is a quizzes. So we will start at exactly 3.40 uh, since it just simply ran for five minutes. While others will join, while still others still joining and clicking the link and type their names at the same time. This is a 10 question and each question is good for 20 seconds. So a few seconds from now, we will start our integrate LTI using quizzes. Okay, it's 3.40 already. So I will click the start button. Okay, so I will proceed on the next question. Either board. So the correct answer is Google Form.
Next question. Congratulations for those who are in the leader of our board. So thank you everyone for choosing this room break for the LTI inter integration. So I will be... <laughs> so let's have here. So I will be sharing the slides. Zone. So thank you everyone for choosing so a 
Thank you. Tech Talk on 2022 is presented to you by LaSalle University's Educational Technology of Educational and Digital Media Services Team, or EDMST, and Institute for Development, Education, and Learning, or IDEAL, accredited with 10 CPD units, PTR-2018-186-1103. Tech Zoned Con 2022 Festival of Learning. Tech Zoned Con 2022 is presented to you by LaSalle University's Educational Technology of Educational and Digital Media Services Team, or EDMST, and Institute for Development, Education, and Learning, or IDEAL, accredited with 10 CPD units, PTR 2018 186 1103. Tech Zoned Con 2022 Festival of Learning. Tech Zoned Con 2022 is presented to you by LaSalle University's Educational Technology of Educational and Digital Media Services Team, or EDMST, and Institute for Development, Education, and Learning, or IDEAL, accredited with 10 CPD units, PTR 2018 186 1103. Tech Zoned Con 2022 Festival of Learning. Tech Zoned Con 2022 is presented to you by LaSalle University's Educational Technology of Educational and Digital Media Services Team, or EDMST, and Institute for Development, Education, and Learning, or IDEAL, accredited with 10 CPD units, PTR 2018 186 1103. Tech Zoned Con 2022 Festival of Learning. Tech Zoned Con 2022 is presented to